This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey y'all, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the Bellavina Mini Gel Tip Kit. And I got this from Amazon. It was only $20. And this is like in a Prey Gel X dupe. You guys love when I do those type of videos because I guess y'all wanna see if it's worth it. But I do wanna point out that this company has some questionable marketing techniques <laughs> um, because on my Instagram, although I did have like real people like asking me about this kit and wanting me to try it out, there was an alarming amount of bots that were in my Instagram, you know, saying, hey, can you try this? Hey, can you try this? Hey, can you try this? And I'm like, so I go to these accounts and they're like all Russian. They're not even following me. So they don't even know, like, it don't even seem like it's real. <laughs> But like I said, y'all do with some bots on Instagram. Don't do that. And I am not trying this out because of the bots. I'm trying this out for my real friends. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the Bellavina mini gel tip kit. It says bring the salon to you. I ain't even peeped this. This is from Double Dip Store. So I've heard about them and I wonder why they're spamming people on Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> it has the instructions on the back. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. So this is everything that comes inside of the kit. You get the high quality nail tips. And these, I'm pretty sure, are full cover tips. It looks like they're like coffin shaped. So you get a bag of these and you get this UV LED nail lamp. You get the four in one base coat, a little pack of rhinestones and your user manual. Let's see how, okay, you know, the little fold out that tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Helpful tips in our core values. How about we add stop spamming to this list? <laughs> I don't know why they're kind of like, like why y'all doing that? Stop that, don't spam. <laughs> Let me go ahead and open this lamp up. Uh, I wonder does it tell me the wattage of this? Okay, over here it says it. Looks like it is 16 watts. Wow, that's kind of powerful for this little lamp. All right, so it says Bellavina on top. Ooh, and it looks like they have a power button. Hmm, I wonder if somebody watched my other video. All right, so it looks like this comes with the USB cord, and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in. If I can look at it and do it the right way. <laughs> And my desk has a plug over here. So let's go ahead and just plug this up. Ooh. All right. So far, I'm liking the lamp. All right. So let me go ahead and pick through these nails to get my sizes. This is always the not so fun part. It's always just a guess like, hmm. I think these are just regular nail tips, not like the gel nail tips that everyone else has. Um, they actually don't, they're kind of, kind of flimsy. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and see if I can find my size. Yeah, these are definitely just regular press ones. The thickness is. I don't know. I don't know, the thickness is kind of thin. There is no thickness. <laughs> but, you know, we're gonna get our sizes and then go from there. All right, so we got all of the tips picked out and the only one I really had an issue with is this pinky. It is a little too big. And this is the size nine. This is the smallest one, so it's wide. If your pinky is smaller than mine, 
then you're gonna have a problem because I'm already gonna have a problem. I gotta file that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do my nail prep. All right, so this is what we're working with here. If you guys caught my last live stream, then you saw where I took off my dip powder nails. We was having fun up in there and I'm gonna be doing more live streams. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel if that is something that you're interested in. I'm just gonna go and push back my cuticles. This is supposed to be a nice and quick, easy way to get some nails. And we will see how long they last. I forgot how long the Beatles one lasts. I don't remember. Was it 10 days? <laughs> um, but that one, I remember that not being too bad. All right, so next I am just gonna go ahead and, where is my nail clipper? We're just gonna go ahead and trim these nails down. Since we're going for the full cover nail look, I don't need any of this nail. Next, I'm just gonna take my e-file and work this around my cuticle area and also take the shine away from the nail. And as always, I'm using a fine sanding band, so it is not rough. All right, so after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my hand file and just smooth out the free edge and kind of just file this down to little bitty nuts. We just want to file the nail down as short as possible. All right, so this is a new kit for me. So let's go ahead and just breeze over these instructions and see if anything is different. Okay, so it wants us to file, shape, buff nails, clean nail surface, apply base coat evenly, choose proper size, take appropriate amount of nail glue, place on to da da da. Hmm, y'all just everything. This kid ain't got nothing to do with poly gel and this thing, you can use this for poly gel slip solution. <laughs> okay, so it's telling me to apply the base coat evenly on nails. It doesn't say cure, but all right. So I also want to get back to these nail tips because like I was saying, I think it was just one. The pinky kind of needed to be filed. Well, I think this one is all right. Yeah, just some of them kind of have this roundness that we need to get rid of. Depending on the shape of your nail and your cuticle area, you may have to file these or you may not, you know. Depends, but for me, I had to file and that looks better. Although these tips don't feel like extremely weak, they do feel significantly different and thinner than the uh, Beatles ones that I tried. You know, they got a good C curve to them, which probably gives it its strength as well, but I don't know. They kinda, they kinda like bend a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but that's not like, you know, a bad thing, but we'll see. All right, much better. <laughs> I know it says to apply base coat. It doesn't say cure. See, it says to cure here. So maybe they're telling you to not, to just apply it to the nail and apply it to the tip. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go by the instructions because if somebody who just didn't know anything about nails bought this kit, they will follow what the instructions say. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna take the four in one base gel. And one thing I must say is that, so like, I really like these type of lamps that have this kind of claw opening. <laughs> um, so you can come from either side. It makes it easier, especially, you know, when you're doing this on yourself. And I also like that this top is flat because I like to put my fingers on top of this while I'm working. You know, you don't have to do that, but it works for me because y'all can see what I'm doing. You know, it makes it easier to film, you know, because that's what I do. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this base coat. Okay. I am gonna add some primer just because 
that's what you should do if you want these to last. I'm gonna use my Jelly Tips Primer from Kiara Sky and just apply that to all of my nails. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a base coat like it said. And I'm just gonna put a nice even thin coat on like so. And then it wants me to put some gel inside of here. Just blowing out the dust. You know, I never really know how much to add. So we're just gonna do it like that. You kind of don't want to add too much to where it squeezes out, but you want to add enough to where you're going to get a good a good hold. Okay, so we got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lamp on, press in the button so I don't have to fiddle with it. And we're just going to place this down like this. Okay, I got a lot of gel. I told you I never know how much to put on. Okay, we are going to, oh, I should have had some brushes ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to at least get up what's on my skin. And I kinda wanna brush this out so it's not like goopy. All right. And then once again, all right, so the gel is thick enough to kind of hold it a little bit for you. So you don't have to feel like you have to rush. Light went off. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put that on and let it cure in the nail lamp. Ooh, okay. I must have, <laughs> it burned a little bit. <laughs> I must have had some gel squeeze out and get on my skin. Okay. So yeah, we go ahead and let that cure. I think this is like one of the first times that I have not gotten an air bubble. Hey, okay. Kinda want y'all to see what how it's carrying. So yeah, it's three lights up there and this thing is hot. Like it's powerful for it to be this little. And it also has a timer but it also has an on and off button because sometimes you need that. This feels nice and secure. All right, that was easy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do that for the rest of the nails. Oh yeah, the top of this is warm. <laughs> so, so far so good. Like this is actually really, really easy. Okay, I don't wanna put too much because that, that burning kind of stinged a little bit. We're just gonna place this on. All right, so I'm gonna hold this one because it, this finger has a little more curvature than my pinky, so we're just gonna hold this until it cures. All right, and let it cure the rest of the way. Y'all, this lamp is hot. Uh, it feels way more powerful than the Beatles one, so, okay. I'm impressed. All right, so all of the nails are on and that was really easy. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna just do some touch up filing. I don't have to do that much, but you know, we just gotta make sure we get the little nubs off. And I want to go around my cuticle areas with the e-file just to make sure we get any of that excess gel off. <laughs> let's see, this is pretty good. I don't think this needed, but let's just make sure. I did notice that these tips are thinner around the cuticle area, which does help to not have any bumps or, you know, any noticeable areas in the transition. So yeah, we just wanna get this as nice and smooth as we can so it doesn't look like a press on. All right, so after doing the e-file work around the cuticle area, I'm just gonna take my buffer and take the shine away from the nails. 
I'm going in with gel polish, so we need to take the shine away from this so the gel polish will actually stick to it. All right, so the nails are on and shaped and buffed and all that good stuff, and I can't complain. That was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, you can just go ahead and paint them. You can use a regular nail polish, gel polish, whatever you wanna use. In my case, I'm gonna do a little bit of design. So I was sent over a PR package from She Polish Nails. And she sent this months ago. I apologize. Like, that is the reason why I just went ahead and took my business P.O. box out of my info box because I ain't gonna be able to get to everybody. <laughs> so, but anyway, she was really, really sweet to send over some of her polishes from her online store. I just love this little sticker. It says, your nails are about to get an upgrade. Like, <laughs> I'm a sucker for packaging. So she sent over some gel polish. Let me see what colors we get. All right, so these are all of the polishes and there's color swatches on the top. And it looks like two of these are the cat eye um, polish because it, it came with this little cat eye magnet. Okay, so it looks like we have a silver and a purple cat's eye polish. Cute. I wanna go for a Christmas nail design, so I think I'm gonna use this beautiful shimmery red one. This looks really, really pretty. Ooh, oh yeah, that's it. So yeah, if y'all wanna check out She Polish Nails, you can scan this if you got your phone out. And then this is all of her info. Um, but yeah, this is all of the info. Oh, and it comes with a pretty little thank you. So yeah, thank you so much for sending over these items. I can't wait to try these out. I am just gonna go in with the base coat. I always find that I get a smoother application with gel polish when I use base coat. I went ahead and cured that, and now I'm gonna go in with the glitter red polish. So I'm gonna do two coats of this just to make sure I get good coverage. Ooh, that is cute. All right, so that is after two coats of that red shimmery polish. And now I'm just gonna go in with this McCart Femi Beauty polish. Yeah, this is the perfect nude color. All right, so after applying the nude color, I wanna draw a gingerbread man, so wish me luck. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this perfect brown from Madam Glam. Just gonna tap a little bit out here. I don't know, I feel like I need to mix just a little bit of this color in, just a little bit. Okay, that warms it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna use my dotting tool to help get the shape going. And I think I want him right here. It really does look like a stick figure. Now, it should be easier to just kind of switch over to a brush and just perfect everything going on here. Ooh, all right, it took a little time, but I think it is starting to look more like a gingerbread man. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So I'm busting out the um, Kiara Sky dip tray to help me uh, catch the glitter that I'm gonna use. Mm, this ain't the one I wanted to use. <laughs> Let me grab the other one. So I'm just gonna outline the little gingerbread man and try to do an okay job. It's okay, cause with gingerbread man, since it's like a cookie, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I have the outline done and now I'm gonna take my dotting tool 
try to carefully make a face <laughs> without messing this up. Ooh, I was holding my breath. <laughs> and we're gonna give him a little smile. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna do it from this way so I can, <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's as best as that's gonna get. <laughs> I don't wanna mess with it too much. I have a real, like, I'm just practicing with like my really fine lines. I can't get those for nothing, but we're just gonna do some little design for the, I don't know, you know how like it has, the gingerbread has this little, well that ain't it. Oh, I congratulate the nail techs that can do the fine hand-drawn art, cause it's a struggle for me. Like all of this white polish is still wet. So I have to be really, really careful. That look like a gingerbread man to me. All right, so earlier I showed y'all this Kiara Sky dip tray. Um, this is if you have like long nails or I don't know. It's a different, it's different from this one. So this is the one that I, I like, the scoop, pour, and catch one. Um, I'm just gonna take a glitter. Um, this one is from Kiara Sky and this is Hollow Grill. It's a very like, fine glitter so yeah i'm just gonna pour this over this and like i said the uh gel polish is still um it i haven't cured it yet so yeah this is just glitter so i'm gonna go ahead and cure this in my nail lamp and i'm just gonna brush off the excess you know what, I think I may have been a little bit premature with the glitter. I should have waited to the very end for that. I didn't put a matte base coat on or anything. Oops. Oh man. Let me see if I can wipe this off with alcohol. Okay, let's see if this will come off. <laughs> Please. I didn't do it in the right order. We gonna save it, but man, don't do it in this order. <laughs> Cause the glitter is sticking to the gel polish and I haven't even put any type of top coat or anything, but that's okay. <sighs> oh, I hate I did that. All right, so I'ma do the little gingerbread buttons in red and green. What I'ma try to do is Use some alcohol and kind of wipe, wipe the nail down with some alcohol. I mean, it still look like a gingerbread, right? So now I'm just gonna go in with the Chapolish top coat. Let me go in with some bling gel first. I'm gonna put the bigger crystals on this hand. I mean, this finger. And I'm kind of just mixing products. I'm gonna put the Chapolish top coat on top. And this is kind of just random. And for the gingerbread, I'm just going to go around the nail, trying not to touch the glitter. And I'm just gonna put just a few little random crystals to make me feel better. All right, you know, that's not too bad. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and put top coat on the rest of the nails. All right, so, <laughs> my little struggly gingerbread man. All right, so now we're just gonna put some cuticle oil on, cause your girl is ashy. I should have done this before I put the cuticle oil on, but I'm just going to just crisping up my shape. When you get to putting all the layers of gel polish on, you sometimes lose that crispness. All right, so that is the finished look. I'm not too happy about my gingerbread man. He's looking real struggly. 
<laughs> but that's not the point of this video. We're here to talk about the Bellavina mini gel tip kit. Um, it's all right. I think the full cover tips can be a little better quality. They seem a bit thinner than others that I tried. So we'll see how it holds up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.